welcome back friends in the last video we have seen the installation of lxqt desktop xfc desktop and the os utils bundle in the clear linux so let us explore the desktops that we have installed let us start so here you can see the LXQT desktop has been added as a session. Then there is XFC desktop. And we had chosen another bundle that is the OS-Utils. So that uh, has installed the Gnome open box session. So here uh, the desktop will be Gnome but the Windows manager is open box. And also another separate open box session has been added. So what we will do is, we will now first do the review of the XFC desktop. So let us start. In further uh, videos, we will do the Gnome open box uh, review and the open box review and the LXQT uh, desktop review also. So let us start. So we are now booted into the XFC desktop. So this is a typical XFC desktop. So at the top uh, bar, we have got the applications menu. So it is a drop down applications menu. To the right hand side, there are the four workspaces. Then there is a notifications area. Before notifications area in between the workspaces and the notification area there is a volume control if you click on audio mixer you will get the advanced uh, audio controls and then you have got the date time and calendar function and finally you have got the session manager at the bottom there is a small dock so there is one minimize maximize button is there or icon is there then you have got the console or the terminal emulator then you have got the files tunar files manager is there then there is web browser then there is application finder and finally the home folder is there and on the desktop you have got the trash icon the system uh, file system mounted file system home is there and the xfc terminal is there so let us rearrange the icons so I like to have the home uh, folder on the top. XFC can be here. It is not coming up. Let us try to arrange it. Arrange, yes. What can we do is take it to the top. take it here and now it is okay so let us check out the applications that we have so in the settings menu you got the settings manager so the typical settings manager is there with the personal section in personal section you got the appearance let us check out the appearance so style advaita advaita dark breeze breeze dark and high contrast is there so this breeze theme is coming from the KDE desktop in the icons you have got the breeze icons the elementary xfc icons are there the gnome icon theme is also uh, present so what we can do is let us try to do the xfc icon theme okay but here XFC is not uh, elementary is not ever let us then go with the breeze theme so styling also we can go with breeze uh, now it looks better in the fonts clear sans regular and the monospace regular uh, families are used okay okay so now we will go ahead uh, yes 
the desktop background selection let us see what wallpapers are available so not very big choice of wallpapers already the good wallpaper is installed so you can add more wallpapers as you wish so this is the menu settings the icon settings are there here let us reduce the size of the icons 36 will be better go back so these are the thunar mail uh, thunar manager settings notification settings let us check out the panel settings so the mode is horizontal right now you can keep it vertical you can have a dash bar also like this you can go with the vertical ones or you can keep it horizontal like it was be, uh, before okay so appearance dark mode is there icon size adjust automatically okay. opacity let us configure it it is not available okay compositing is currently disabled first you have to yes. enable the so we can make it transparent yes okay, the enter opacity can make it 50 so this is how we can tweak now let us check out the screen server so rubik will be better i think no <clears throat> okay so this is saying that screen saver extra than screen saver gl extras are not uh, installed let us check out ripples this also is not there in the rocks okay rocks is crashing so okay so it, there is some issue the screen server extras are not installed so let us go back let us quit okay yes now there are i think two screen servers are there let us see okay it is not working yes on screen keyboard you should have log out yes okay let us check out the window manager okay okay so here you can configure the window manager focus model window snapping everything you can do it from here i will go back we are just checking out so we can reduce the number of workspaces to two okay let us check out the display so i will go with bigger display if it is available yes yes this is better keep this configuration i will go back so the default applications you can set here default applications for internet utilities others okay then i will go back now we will check the session and startup so here you can choose the application that will auto start when you start a new session so these are the applications that are auto starting during the current uh, session and some advanced settings for the session and startup so you can start genome services on startup let us do it because okay 
I will not do it because uh, of course the, there is an issue with the LX Q2 desktop. It is not uh, booting up with the GDM display manager. So I will have to tweak the display manager and make it HDDM or LDM so, uh, so that the LX Q2 can boot. So I was thinking if I do, but of course we will not go in this session. So there is no use of launching Genome services. So we'll go back. Okay. Okay. So we have checked out the settings menu. Now let us do a fast review of the other applications available. So in development, you got the Emacs, Guinea is there. GTK demo, icon browser, Joe's own editor, KDF, uh, uh, KDF 3. What is KDF 3? Let us check out. Okay, so it is editor and difference output font. So we will have to check this what this exact app is after uh, in some of other video. I think it is changing the output of the text so if you input text with a sign sheriff font it will give the output in mono space so you can change the output font so input it uh, input with one font and output to other font so we can have a, a separate video for this so what exactly this application is meant for okay so we'll cancel this out Let us quit this application. In the graphics section, you got the dark table, document scanner, uh, device document viewer is there, uh, GIMP is there, image viewer, LibreOffice draw. So uh, there is a mix up of all the KDE, GNOME, and XFC applications here because three desktops are there. So whenever you have multiple desktops, you have to expect this. So all the applications will uh, get mixed up. So you have got connection, Firefox, web browser. Geary, Hestchat, Mozilla, Thunderbird, yes. So now the Mozilla Thunderbird has been installed when we install the extra desktops. So that pulled the Mozilla Thunderbird. I think it is a dependency of the XFC desktop. So whenever you install the XFC desktop in clear Linux, it will pull the Mozilla Thunderbird. Before this installation of the two desktops, uh, Mozilla Thunderbird was not there. Remote viewer, Tiger VNC viewer, X11 VNC. The Tiger VNC is also pulled up. This is the new. Earlier we had only X11 VNC server. So now the Tiger VNC viewer has been included. Okay, in education section only LibreOffice Math. Okay, multimedia. Let us check out. Yes. So XF1 was not there earlier. Now XF1 has been included. So no new uh, media or audio player is there. No audio player or video player is there only the Genome music and uh, videos app is there. So in office, you got the full uh, office suite, LibreOffice suite is there, calendar is there, document viewer is there, evolution uh, mail client is there. So it was from the earlier installation. So it is not newly pulled up. In other section, there is only HP UI scan in system. You got the bulk rename. So this is the Thunar bulk rename. So you got the color profile viewer, deconf editor, discover, this usage analyzer, dolphin is there. So, so you got now multiple file managers. So you got dolphin also, thunar also, and the nautilus also. So you will get multiple file managers. You can see here. Let us check out the system monitor, what it says. Okay. So CPU usage is very low, so you got, you got the Genome system monitor opened up. It is using around 1.4% of CPU and 20 MB of RAM. So CPU usage is quite low. It is below 7%, between 0 to 7% and 680, 668 um, MBs of mem uh, memory has been used. No swap is used, so this is LD. But I think even uh, in Debian, there is even lesser use, uh, usage of uh, RAM when we have the XFC desktop working. In a Debian, it is around 450 to 550 MB of RAM for XFC session. 
but this is also good not bad of course it is comparable to kde desktop let us check out what is running what applications are running in background okay not many kde or uh, gnome uh, applications are running only the gnome system monitor is running and uh, this balu is running so that is kde application balu file so some applications from the uh, kde are running along with two three applications from the gnome uh, system are running other than that there is quite frugal usage of resources so i will now close this let us check some more let us open the sys guard yes let us open the system guard let us see what it has to show it should come up it is taking some time to open up let us check other uh, let us open a stop by the time okay so stop is showing even less so this is what 522 so this is similar to the debian xfc session so that's good okay so i will close this down yes so now uh, you observed that the k system guard did not open so it did not open because the required processes for the kd system cannot run in the xfc desktop let us check out the version of xfc desktop what is this okay okay now it has started the k system guard has started but the look of the k system guard is completely changed let us check out the system okay cpu usage is around powering around 2 to 4 percent sometimes it is even picking to 80 percent okay, so this app doesn't look very compatible with uh, xfc memory usage it is showing even less 0.47 gb that is 470 mb and there is some network uh, usage also showing okay i will close this down uh, now this about the desktop environment so i think it is 4 4.16 or what okay, clear clear linux project for the intel architecture okay it is not showing the version of the let's see it should be anyway 1.6 only some other application from the xfc let us go with the tunar file manager it will show the version yes 4.16 is it is 4.16.10 so anyway this is the latest uh, version i think available for the xfc desktop okay so this was it nothing uh, more nothing special to show it is the default kde desktop we did some rising okay so i will stop the video here thank you very much for being with us during the course of this video do like share and subscribe to our channel do not forget to press the bell button otherwise you will lose the new videos that are uploaded every day Bye bye see you in the next video we will do the review of uh, gnome open box session so see you in the next video bye bye